F double R, F double R, F double R, F double R. Gotta bring that energy. Gotta bring that energy. Cosa sta succedendo, F double R fam? If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you've been here, welcome back to F double R. Friend request reviews with friends request friends to watch The Sopranos season six A. Finale titled Keisha. Yeah, I know that look exactly because I don't even think we've heard that name ever in this show. Like, so I don't know what the hell have we? I don't think so. So, yeah, I, I, don't, I don't know where we're going with this, man. Like, last episode, we took care of the veto issue. Um, I felt like this episode, we're probably going to get a little bit more escalation between the beef. Um, that Tony and Phil are, are about to start brewing. Um, but as far as the title, yeah, how you feeling over there, Bradley? <laughs> I, I have no clue what the title means, you know. In case you don't know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> could be a joke, could be a phrase. I don't, I, I really don't really know. But um, I'm excited to see what the, what they got for us for the season finale. I'm, I mean, mid-season finale. So I'm just curious where they're going to take us, man. We, we come into the... To the to close to the end, we halfway mm -hmm. there. So I'm just like I said, I'm really want to know where they want to um, home in at. Um, obviously, Phil's definitely, definitely the talk of the town. Obviously, the man's uh, gonna be swinging. <laughs> he gonna be he, he you know he coming in swinging. So I'm really just curious what what they're gonna do with this. But either way, I'm ready, man. I'm ready to see what they got. Hey, look. He ready, I'm ready. I know y'all ready, so we ain't gonna hold y'all any longer. We just gonna dive right in. Y'all know what to do with the video. Drop your likes. Make sure you comment down below. And most importantly, subscribe. The goal is 10K. Click the button. Click the bell. Get notified when we go live. Let's get it, baby. Let's go. Let's do it. Taste it, let it. Okay, dedicated, dedicated to, to John, John T. Patterson. Patterson. Okay. This one's dedicated to you, bro. Oh, shit. I feel oh, it. That house looks so tiny, dude. I know, I feel it. <laughs> what you feel? I feel like it's starting off beautiful, but it's going to end horribly. Okay, Carlo. Oh, are they trying to get rid of the body? Oh, yeah, right? They didn't show that, mm -hmm. huh? Yep. Mm. Man, how long he had that shit in there? It's the beauty of a freezer. It could be there for however you need it to be. <laughs> oh, why he need just a head that long? I feel like he he doing something like yeah. He that was stuffed supposed to... his head down there. That's what he doing. <laughs> <laughs> Motherfucker! I drove up to Connecticut. Mm. Mm, mm, they on that road. wave, huh? So the barbecue come, don't be coming to our side of town leaving heads around and shit. Hey, I had to go to CT, huh? Damn, they probably put a piece of body in each New England fucking yep. area, like. Oh shit. Oh shit. Why we why we with Phil so early on? This way, sweetheart. They just prepping us. That's all. Yeah. They're prepping us for the finale. It's about to be the finale right now. Oh shit. Shit. Damn, that shit scared the fuck out of me. That shit scared me too, nigga. <laughs> that shit scared the fuck out of me. Yo, I ain't gonna lie, my stomach jumped a little bit. Like, <laughs> Hell right, unexpected. Back to, uh, I'm over here thinking a car about to run them over and shit. Yeah. I thought a car was gonna explode, but I wasn't ready for that. Gee, sounds like a real weenie roast. <laughs> Hey, your friend the Shaw was walking in when it happened. Him and some Shkifuza got blown back on their keisters. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> on their keisters. It's from the deed to Jamba Juice. Oh, there it is. Jamba, the Jamba Juice. Juice. It's happening. Thank you. Or it happened. Not even happened. It happened. Okay. And we can do the borders with the Disney characters. Mm. Makes me nervous, this stuff. We should wait to decorate till after the baby's born. Ah, uh, he wants to know if it's a boy or a girl. No, nah, I think he wants to make sure it's born, period. Oh. You sit on an egg for months, one little thing goes wrong, you're left with nothing. Yeah, see. Oh. Are we forgetting characters? Like, who's in here? 
Who is that? Elizabeth who? La Sarea? La, La Sarea. I know, right? Who, who is that? What's the matter? Liz LaServa tried to commit suicide. Pills. Hmm. What'd you do that for? Apparently she got a letter for aid from the Salvation Army. Why, age homeless? She made a donation every year to feed the homeless on Thanksgiving. The letter set Liz off, evidently. She thinks her daughter is dead. <laughs> she knows her daughter's dead. I mean, what reality? That her facts. daughter couldn't stand her, so she moved away. Mm. That's what you say to me two weeks after our own daughter moves away to California. Mm. Damn. <laughs> How did that even connect? Like, yo. Yeah, somehow it did in her brain. <laughs> that was wild. <laughs> I wouldn't have known what to say if that happened to me. <laughs> I would just walk away. They just got a job. He's doing better. You raised two gorgeous kids. They say You're he's doing better. a husband that loves you. You made us a beautiful home. That's facts. Doesn't that count for something? Okay, but her kids are grown. Like, what the hell you want her to do now? She she trying to live, but yeah, she gotta figure that shit out. Mm -hmm. uh, what the fuck? Come that boy on, be tired, huh? Already talking like a real construction worker. Yeah, funny. See how you like working out in the cold. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? Come on, clandestine phone calls. I know you got a new gomma. What can I say, huh? Oh, sure. How come you don't bring her around? Honestly, I would, but uh, between us, she's black. Oh, ho wow. Not that it would matter to Paulie. Mm. Still have to listen to all his racial bullshit. Mm. Yeah. She would feel it, too. <laughs> yeah, coming from Paulie. Okay, yeah, are, yeah. They, are they going to show her? Hold on, let's, let's see what... Uh... I think I think it's all bullshit. When it comes to Chris, I think it's all bullshit, bro. I think it's all the... I think it's drugs. I don't know. He looks pretty clean, like... Look, that's her. Fuck you doing? That's Chris's job. Mm. AJ falling in love though. That's about to be AJ's job. <laughs> Look at this. She is looking Look right. Oh, oh she that's looks mad familiar. I forgot her name. Check. She a dollar what? Blanca. Look at this. Right. He's still okay. Yeah, like man. snap out of it, bro. Yeah. He's still. I just did your paperwork. Oh wait, she. Yeah, we seen her already. Yeah, yeah. Damn, he is sprung. I'm sprung. Mm -hmm. uh, she got, got me. me. Uh, she looked back in at the smile. Do. Look, he's never going to not go back to work now. Man. He about to be employee of the month every month, boy. You started it. Okay. So. Uh. Oh. I know. Is that her? That's it the is, right? Realtor. Okay, I'm. I wasn't sure. Like I was just like, is that there? I didn't want to say yes. It was. So that's why he's lying. Okay, you got me, Chris. You ruined my dress. Mm. Save it. Like Monica Lewinsky. <laughs> 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 it's, it's stupid. <laughs> Leave it in the closet. What are we doing here, huh? I don't know. We smashing. Can't stop thinking about fucking you all the time. There you go. Yeah, it's called lust. Smashing. I can't even like a person who sleeps with a married guy. <laughs> can we not talk about it? I rushed in with her. I thought I wanted it. Oh, here he go. She's got no idea who I am. Wow. She doesn't understand. Him. I did say that though. Who is this chick? Does she know who Chris is? Like, can she Does even she handle know? anything? Hell nah, she don't. Exactly. So what's but the I difference? do I do like how they address that though, because we felt like she was rushed in the show too. Like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially with the family. <clears throat> now I won't call it a sit down because of the inclement negative implications. Hmm. Let's think of it as a meeting of minds. <laughs> Certain incidents have expired lately that in addition could have an adverse impact on our respective bottom lines. I know Vito's Shmoney. bottom was impacted, if that's what you're referring to. <laughs> <laughs> You see the <laughs> cracking up next to him? Play pop, right? Phil, please. Please, my ass. The man was a fucking disgrace. Oof. But before he came out of the closet, he worked for me. And he put a lot of money in my pocket. And yours, too. Mm. Talk about Ernest. How about Fat Dom Gamiello? Huh. Who that? What about him? He's MIA. A lot of people are concerned for his well-being. Huh. What the fuck would I know about that? There's one thing my father taught me. It's this. 
A pint of blood costs more than a gallon of gold. Mm. I'm willing to move forward. Let the past be bygones. Fine with me. A wise decision. <sighs> Let's go, little Carmine. Yeah. <laughs> You'll see. <laughs> the no shows, the wire room, Vito, put it all behind us. Your brother Billy, whatever happened there. All right, then. Yeah. Whatever happened there. Ooh, here we go. Here oh. we go. <laughs> Tell you what fucking happened. This piece of shit's cousin Calm put down, six Phil. bullets in the kid without any provocation whatsoever. My cousin's dead. Fuck you. Mm, hey, we will here make we an go. Here. I didn't mean to Fuck say what you meant, cocksucker. Oh, mm. my God. This nigga. It was going too smoothly. <clears throat> Jesus Christ, Carmine, what the fuck? Why would you possibly bring that up? Oh, yeah. He almost had it. It was the wording. <laughs> it was the wording. You Whatever were... happened there. You should have never praised him too early. Oh, fuck. Nah, I still fucked with that speech. He even threw in the Rusty shit. He was like, Rusty. And when I come to it, I'll discern what happened there. Like, he let them know, bruh. Like, hold up. Hold up, little Carmine. Uh Look, this the slow. <laughs> the slow. The little Sierra one two step. You see like. Yeah, she's Come trying to hypnotize you. you. Exactly. She about to. He about to blow his pockets. Uh, Look how she. Look at that. <laughs> that bitch did the bring it on step. Like, <laughs> what the fuck was that? <laughs> You're gonna call me, right? Only six numbers. I left the last one off. You want to find me? You're gonna have to work for it. Mm. Mm. Yes. <laughs> Look at this man getting all these life lessons on how to be a young man. Emergency call on two. Oh, oh my shit. god. Emergency. Pop. Guess who? This nigga. That's not funny. How to get your attention? Chris is already in them guts. Just move on, bro. You got a warehouse listed on Panama. That used to be a uniform supply. What's he asking? Three and a quarter. Look, whatever happened, we did make some money together, right? True. You're serious about this? Oh, you never do shit like that? <clears throat> I'll get back to you. Mm. He gonna want another dinner, don't. <laughs> yep, be careful. Wow, she's in the I mean, AA meeting. Could have been worse, given my history. Could have been junk. It's crazy, right? That's how they know each other. This is like some Breaking Bad shit right here. It's crazy that they rewounded us, too. Like. <laughs> you look familiar. Pork store there. Satrials. Oh. You want to go for coffee? Well, um, OK. You know what coffee means. <clears throat> have it. Coffee means coffee, bro. Yep. He's having coffee. That definitely looks like the up north regular diner. Bro, fags. That shit, <laughs> yeah. That shit look like a. This shit on. Every oh, night. With the eye cream. Remember that man tried to put two M&Ms in there? Watch his <laughs> weight. Stan Klimek was there. Ruth's husband. He works for Kroll. The private eyes? He does their computers. Anyway, I was telling him about aid, and he said we should hire professionals to track her down. Wow. She don't quit. Did you ever think that maybe it's an intrusion into aid's personal life? But what if she's in trouble, Tony? The trouble's already done. Why not? Just to get her off your back. Nah, just to get her off his back, he need to double down on that housing shit to get her mind off of this shit. He need to give her something else to focus on. You might be right on that. That actually will be a nice little... Carmelo Speck House, I need you to go lean on that building. Uh, Look at this shit, bro. <laughs> Look. <laughs> Dig it. Oh, it. Bro, because he, he just mentioned it earlier about how he had to fucking fend for himself. Like, Yeah, you too. That's funny. Bro, they always show these fools. Like, are they going to... Is something else going to pop off with them? Like, It's possible. I got close with the developer, thought he could do apartments, some light retail, but we snagged on some zoning issues. Let me worry about that. So who's this fiance you were telling me about? Jesus. What the fuck do you want here? <laughs> Just move on, huh? 
I was confused. He don't. He a player. He a child. He can't move on. Take all the time you need. Just stick it in the lockbox. Damn, she don't even be around this, bro. <laughs> Tony ain't never dealt with no rejection like this, boy. He really think he got it. Nah, son. Chris already in them guts. Are you sure about the title? Cleaver? The Jerry Mac. They still He's still to, going yeah. with the Cleaver title. Is Anthony Soprano like that? Wow. It's just a jumping off point for the character. Don't start. <laughs> don't, don't start. He's got some similarness. Uh, of course. Uh -huh. of See, you pillow talking now. But it's not. Mm. Here she go. This ain't his. This yours, daddy. Get into it, but there are some rules. Thank you. Don't get into it. I don't want to know. There you go. Don't want to know. I shouldn't even said the man's name. He hasn't been anywhere. Hmm. Nothing happened. I told you that. Don't matter. He's been there in his mind. Hmm. I like that Chris said that. Nah, that's facts though. That she is... probably realized it the way he been pressing her ass. That's some real, real shit right there. Not a fucking parking spot. No. Hmm. I can't withdraw two hundred. <laughs> you can't say I'm not a fucking parking spot. Then let a nigga manhandle you like that. <laughs> <laughs> like, you better set the exactly. And then just crashes into the parking spot. Oh. Oh my god! And then drops to the knees. No. She said, dominant, submissive, dominant, submissive. <laughs> like, as far as I'm concerned, this is like 9-11. Tony wanted our attention? Fine. He got our attention. Now we wipe him off the planet. Ooh. You know that fat cocksucker says I look like the Shah of Iran? Who does? Tony. A whack -a boss I won't do that. It's mm, been done before. Exactly. And I was wrong then. Eye for an eye then, huh? Phil Pick somebody won't whack -a -boss. over there. Okay, huh? the escalation getting is getting. Listen to me. That last run you went on, beginning with the feast, how hard you had to work to get back from that. Okay, see, he is clean. Civilians, their bosses find out they slipped, they get a plane ticket to Minnesota. Tony will fucking mulch his roses with what's left of you. She's mm. solid now, years sober. She wouldn't even let me have Red Bull, seriously. Well, that's the other school. Two are stronger than one. I know I'm different with her. <laughs> He's just rolling them out today, huh? <laughs> it was a solid. There was a solid combo right there. Oh shit! Another Mary man. It gets worse. I think he's connected. To what? The mafia. No. But actually, I know he is because I was involved with his boss. <laughs> this shit is getting worse. I've lived in North Jersey my whole life, and those people, like his boss. They are sociopaths. Hmm. Murderers, actually. Hmm. Murderers, actually. <laughs> Don't hug me on She's top of on. everything. I'm getting a cold. I, lo I love it. The sponsor, the sponsor. <laughs> a 40 year old virgin. Let's go. He's, He's a cool guy. They wake up the baby. Uh oh. Is he going to have to prove his manhood and defend his girlfriend? Kulo. My baby's sleeping. What you call my ass? Suck out dick. Damn. Sasso's problem. Look, AJ, what you gonna do? Now you gotta stand up to the extra okay, standards. Bobby. It's all right. <laughs> the AJ, Yo, don't AJ, do it. run. The AJ, Just don't run, do it. bro. Don't do it. Get out of there, man. <laughs> don't try to swing here. your soprano dick around. Like, you ain't got no respect in these streets. Dude. Unless he goes, tells Uncle Paulie or somebody to come handle, then. Nah. Oh, he yeah. about to try to do this shit, oh, though, yeah. though. Uh, He about to get his ass whooped It's a wrap. Here. He got it. Oh. oh, he popped the trunk? Whoa, calm down, Jamal. Don't pull out the nine. <laughs> Look, all right, you guys move. All right, go hang somewhere else. Wow. I'll give you this bike. It's a Gary Fisher. It's only a year old. Or well, we could just take it and whoop your ass. That's what I was thinking. But now they know they could whore you whenever they see you, nigga. Yep. Oh, mm, there we go. Some. Mission accomplished. You feel me? The baby sleep. <laughs> now we can make noise. <laughs> yeah, he wildin' because you know he was nothing in that too. Yep. He ain't got no kind. to have an Italiano and Dominicano out this bitch. Man. You sure it don't bother you? I have a baby. <laughs> no, I love kids. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a grown kid. <laughs> This is fucking ridiculous. You're not going no place. 
I want to. We can watch a DVD. I got the 50 cent movie down in my trunk. <laughs> <laughs> got that get rich or die trying. Say word. <clears throat> some tea. Something. Maybe you could get some Valerian tea. There you go. Valerian? These motherfuckers in <laughs> Game of Thrones and shit. Worst case scenario might help you sleep at least. Facts. What do you think? <sighs> Come on. He just kicked the man like. Christmas. Oh my god. The building department. Mm. Here we go. They're repealing the stop work order on my spec house. Let's go. Construction may begin immediately. Tony, is this you? <laughs> you know it is. Oh. This is the best Christmas present I could ever get. Oh. <laughs> I better return that vacuum, my guy. <laughs> 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 that's a that's a that's a good husband joke imagine the christmas marie and the kids will be having after all that with vito the bellas too francesca spedafore did that beautiful solo of a holy night vito accompanied her on the piano i gotta try and take a shit <laughs> he said try <laughs> Mr. Leotardo, some people would pay millions for that diagnosis. So what the hell's wrong with me? My guess is simple gas. I always say <laughs> he's full of hot air. <laughs> you gotta get that Miralax. Just, just fucking get some farts out, take some shits. Ali, that's what you are. Nah, that's how we are. Whenever we get sick, we think of the worst. Don't ever use Google. I'm so sorry. This asshole Wall Street couple came back to look at this loft space. Oh no, here we go. Oh, oh man. Oh my god. That's so crazy. Yo, the, the fucking pacing the of these episodes what? be crazy, nigga. The escalation. I told they you. Be I told you. Crazy with it. I told you. I think it's drugs. This man still using they wasn't though that's the thing that's what makes it even better it was like he really was clean and then they had that speech about how it could go bad or could go good and then they gave us a scene where they, it was kind of going good and then boom <laughs> here we are <laughs> like psych gotcha oh, I'm about this to say, show. She, how can she perform that act under the influence oh, nah, when, when she wake up that's why she'll be ready oh shit <laughs> What the fuck? Yeah, I'm dying. My heart. Oh my god. What the fuck? Talk about the pacing and escalation. Facts. My husband. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you want to talk about. We've never seen Phil look so weak. Yeah, Nicky, exactly. You want to talk about this I dude crying. Should have seen his face there. My man went for the hug. Both arms. Wow. Hey. Hey. Right? Wow. You can make a hand turkey. For Christmas? Fucking idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hand turkey? That's just so stupid. Yo, I love my nigga June. Still my nigga June. Even with the, the diminishing of the mental health. <laughs> hand turkey for Christmas? <laughs> of course you don't. Well, it's salted cod. Yep. We taught the world how to eat. Oh, where? Did y'all make bacalaitos too? Because them shits. My mom just asked nah. me the other day if I wanted yeah. some. I don't think they gave I think we remixed it and made those. <laughs> y'all might have gave us the, the bacala. Just to say you should keep this. What's that? You had Beppy drop it by, remember? It wouldn't be right. I mean, frankly, I shouldn't be here after what happened with Tony. Oh. He's still up on his cross, huh? Junior, you shot him. You see that one over there? An attorney. I'm mounting my case. <laughs> Look. June be tripping. A soda? The fuck? You just got here. Happy holidays. Damn. Couldn't even accept the gift because of him shooting Tony. That's cold. It's crazy. It's like certain shit just triggers June to lose his fucking mm -hmm. mind. Like, and this certain shit keep him right. But that's why it makes it so hard to really be like, is this nigga playing? <laughs> but I'm sure he ain't playing no more. One hand washes the other. Mm -hmm. I said, I, nice. I wasn't talking to you. What he? <laughs> oh, wait, this man 
planned it. Hold up. One hand washes the other, huh? Oh, oh shit. Found her. Oh, shit. Found her. Oh, shit. Chrissy boy. Oh, don't, don't, don't stop your stride. You yeah, see don't, don't stop your, stri <laughs> your stride. Oh, shit. <laughs> he started walking like how old girl was walking to AJ in the club. <laughs> like. yeah, she's a friend of Kaisha, the black one I was telling you about. Mm. Kaisha, that's what we that's what we at with it. She was just now asking me what to get Kaisha for her birthday. So Kaisha is the made up name of his black girlfriend. Luther Vandross, box set. He had to, right? He had to. This thing is Luther Vandross, a box set. You better call her right now and make sure that she remembers that. This shit. This man really came up with a whole lie. You see how they always use black people, too, like, for whatever lie. Well, nah, that's <clears throat> facts. That's facts. Damn. Yeah, these motherfuckers looking terrible. Already. Look how she's standing, Already. man. Already. Like a zombie fog. Look at her. Ten man is just amazed as the water. Like, God, there's water in the bottle. Bro, they were literally glowing in the beginning of this episode. Now they looking as pale as fucking Twilight vampires. And you know who we haven't seen this inside? Well, we did see her one scene. His wife. His wifey. Mm hmm. There he is. Where the fuck you been? You hear that fill out surgery now? Turds in the aorta. Medical first. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta see my chiropodist. T. A real estate agent. Yeah? I've been banging her. <laughs> yeah? Like, come on, Tony. You do what's up, nigga. Don't be bad. See, I knew some shit was going on. Why the fuck did you lie to me? I wasn't sure how it ended with you two. Until you sent me straight. It's stupid, right? I don't give a fuck. So what you want with her? Ain't that what he said to, to uh, who was it, Ralphie? When he was fucking the same bitch? I go out of my way not to have an affair with this woman. This very hot, very beautiful, <laughs> intelligent woman. Of course, the three. Almost ran out of breath just saying that shit. The three. And my fucking turkey neck of a nephew winds up with his dick in there. A guy I gotta see every day. Why are you so mad? Now, this is my reward. That's that ego trip. I sat here dreading the end of the story would involve you erupting in some act of violence yep. towards your nephew. Yep, yep, yep. Well, Christmas isn't over yet. <laughs> He's stupid. Feeling each day is a gift. Yep, well, keep, no keep reminding him. This is a corollary him to that. You don't have to eat every dish of rigatoni. <laughs> no, you don't have to fuck wants every to. female you meet. Hmm. That nigga really considering that shit like, really? I don't? <laughs> like, I know, Tony. It's hard. They so beautiful. Dark complexion, smart. They smell a little bit of money. You and uh, Gloria and this Ashkenazi. Ashkenazi. So what's that about? What do you think it's about? Mama. Mama! It's probably the reason I still come here. <laughs> to hang out with you. Because <laughs> nothing really changes with the therapy part. Mm. I hate when they cut off therapy, man. It's because therapy is useless. It's not, though. Let's go back to season one and really <laughs> say therapy is useless. Like. Makes so, sense. A lot of gifts. Don't be a tardo, huh? Coronary? I swear to God, I had nothing to do with that. <laughs> Just so you know, I'm, uh, I'm still in touch with some agents who work OC. From what they hear, you're not very popular in Brooklyn right now. Mm. So what else is no, huh? That someone close to you may be in danger. Mmm, damn. This he got he really got the info. Wow. Thanks. So do they got somebody in uh Phil's squad as well? I mean, you know how these niggas just get down. I know, they randomly rats just pop up out of nowhere. <laughs> exactly. Well then what'd you call me for? Just to say hi. But you're alright. Yeah. Just the way he's talking to his wife. His pregnant wife. What you calling me for? Bring me home a quattro for Maji. I don't care what time it is. Wake me up. All right. Mwah. Oh, she love this. And he just shitting. Yeah, you a big fuck up, Chrissy boy. You were talking about recovery and your organized crime thing. Wow. 
Yeah, stop talking about that shit. You burn the saint. Get your blood. But technically, I shouldn't even be. Exactly. So why are you? Exactly. Why is that? Should we go to a meeting? I don't know. What do you want to do? Yes, go to a meeting. Get clean. I know when this starts in half an hour in Glen Ridge. Yes. Do that second school that your sponsor said. The two, two are stronger than one. Get to that school. Expel yourself from That's the look this of, school. No, we ain't doing that. <clears throat> Chris's eyes says it all. Look at it. Facts. Them shits is smoky right now. He like, I got something in the car. What up? If you come, we getting high. You should have called first. Mm, you should have called first. That's how you talk to a boss? No, I never told nobody this. Well, I was in that coma. Something happened to me. I, I went someplace. I think. But I know I never want to go back there. Mmm, <laughs> made that nigga cry. Believe me, nobody ever laid on their deathbed wishing they saved more no-show jobs. <laughs> Stop crying now. That's crazy. Bro, man ain't supposed to cry, man. You feel me? We should let him sleep. Nigga. I mean, who are you talking to me or are you talking to exactly. the doctor down the hall? We gotta stop meeting like this, huh? I want Tony to actually beat this nigga's ass like like fisticuffs. Not no shoot him, not no like like really throw the hand. I would like to see him with this him. Nigga. You feel Just me? Just a couple them, slaps and then... Let them have his feet dangling. Like, ugh. Jesus, that's a lot of presents. You sure you got enough? <clears throat> Remember you were a kid, WABC? <clears throat> they tell you where Santa got was? The yet, Tracking him on Air Force you radar? It? Are you gonna hug all the ice? <laughs> you talking to me now? The haunt your dreams. This is Blanca. Blanca, my mom, mm. my dad. Hi. Damn, this brought the Hector. kid and everything. Say hello, baby. So it's all out Hector. in the air. Oh, look at those eyes. <laughs> it's from Anthony. Really? Mm, re really? Exactly. A pearl. Exactly. Oh, Tony's not happy about it. Hell nah. Excuse me, my daughter's calling from California. She's get that nigga. We gotta have that talk. She's ten years older than him, and she's Puerto Rican. Damn, ten years. Dominican. I didn't know she was that old. Dominican, maybe. Ten years. Maybe. At least she's Catholic. At least she's Catholic. What are you looking at me like that for? You overjoyed when I shut him down, eh? <laughs> I didn't know she was ten years older though. That's, uh, that's yeah, I didn't that know is that pretty significant. That's pretty significant. I think so. You have a gorgeous home. Oh, thank you. They just sit around in silence. Eat meats and cheeses and fruit. Dysfunctional, but lovable. Family. <clears throat> okay. Kelly Motasanti. All right, there you have it. The Sopranos season six, episode 12 in the books. All right, man. I think they're getting us ready for 6B here. Obviously, they're getting us for 6B. Man. Ain't nothing after this but 6B. So uh, <laughs> I had a good time here, though, because I, I, I like the setups, man. They got they got the escalations, man. The, the pacing was just insane this episode for me. Like, they just kept going up and down with it. Um, and we ended off with, with the New York side looking a lot weaker than they started. I'll just say that. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I obviously, like I had mentioned before, I doubt Phil was going to end up dying before 6B. Um, but I figured the escalation between them two would, would continue, and it definitely did. 
but since Phil is, you know, kind of laying down right now, we're going to have to see what, what that what that turns into, um, especially after that little cute speech that Tony gave him. So <clears throat> I had a pretty good time here. How you feeling over there, bro? Like, yeah, I'm feeling good. To be honest, I'm a little bit disappointed. I thought a little more was going to happen here, but obviously, you know, they they, they setting things up. Um, and the one that I'm most worried about is the, the Chris stuff because mm-hmm. um, – we already know this is this is his last chance. Last time he was this close to getting bodied. <clears throat> so I'm hoping that, you know, something happens there where he could kind of come back to, to realization that um, what he's doing is, is, is not in his benefit. So hopefully that's the case. The Phil stuff, we're going to have to wait and see what happens with that. Obviously, uh, the man yep. is... Um, in the hospital, so I'm not really sure how that's gonna go, but I feel like these other uh, people that are around Phil are gonna start making moves while Phil is uh, potentially under the weather and uh, really fuck up some shit. So I'm excited for that. Yeah, I'm excited too. We gonna have we gonna have to see. I um shit. I guess we could just hop in. First thing is first. AJ. <laughs> you know I got to talk about my mans real quick, man, because I'm actually I'm 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 kind of I'm on the fence, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm I'm obviously a lot happier than I have been uh with my feelings towards AJ, but uh, I'm just on the fence right now. I, I know most people probably aren't going to want to hear it, but I think AJ is just too young to be dealing with somebody who already has a kid, um, especially since he's also 10 years older. Like, it's just it's just not your time, son. Like, you, you not to say that at his age he needs to be, you know, out there and promiscuous and, you know, spreading dick everywhere, but he also doesn't have to be tied down to a kid that he didn't create um uh, on his own mm. uh so that's just my feelings about it but at the same time i'm happy with just his overall maturity like he's he's doing good with the kid it looks like like he's able to comfort him he's able to keep him away from making too much of a mess when he's you know at wild and out um so i'm not even sure how long he's actually been seeing this girl at this point it's it's obviously been if it has been a short time he's definitely been there like every freaking day <laughs> um obviously because yep. The relationship is uh, is blossoming there. He's going to work every day. Um, and even though I don't 100% agree with how he dealt with the thugs outside, it still does show a level of maturity because the old AJ probably would have tried to fight them, you know, puffing up his chest because of who his daddy is and who he thinks he is. Um, so he, he, he actually took the route that he could only take like i can't fight these three niggas by myself so here's a bike please cut me a break <laughs> i mean so hey yeah aj or or it could be that he 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 seen that the boyfriend that ex-boyfriend did that you know basically fought these motherfuckers off but yet they still back so maybe this is his way of saying maybe you know if i do something nice they won't come back you know what i'm saying okay i didn't even think of that i think they i, I thought they just came back because the ex-boyfriend because they broke up, so yeah, 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 was like, yeah fuck, yeah. he can't get her ass whipped no more. <laughs> like, so we coming back. But you do have, but a, yeah, you I, do I have like a point, too. though. They could come back and be like, well, well, what else you got? Exactly. That's that was my issue with it. Now they know that they could hold them. Mm-hmm. They can always come and you know, here's but, music. I don't know. I think this <laughs> this could be some good experience for AJ. He definitely mm-hmm. needs something because, um, yeah, he we we were losing him for a little bit. Uh, yeah, hell yeah. yeah. We're losing him for actually a lot of it this season. So, yeah, it's nice to see him actually taking responsibility and actually, uh, you know, just putting in the work. That's something that we mm-hmm. haven't seen him do ever. So, ever. <laughs> <laughs> ever, nigga. so it's just nice to see him actually doing something. Uh, hopefully, you know, things go go well. Obviously, Tony and uh, Carmella are a little bit, uh, I guess, against it. But uh, Tony had more positive sentiments yeah. than than Carmella did. I was yeah. like, okay, which is okay, surprising. But the ten year, I gap think, is I think the... it's the perspective though. I think I feel like it's the because I feel like, for, uh, like Tony, he probably could see it as like, you know, is AJ just experiencing life, 
he's eventually going to move on. Like, Carmela's probably looking at it, like, from a woman's perspective. Like, no, she has a, a baby. She's looking for help. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, Not for yeah. love type shit. Yeah, like, yeah. so... I, I definitely want them to have another conversation about it. Like, I definitely, I definitely nice. do. All right. All right. What, you want to do Chris or Phil first? I see we can do Phil first, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, let's get to the Phil shit first, because um, I think Chris had much much more to unpack this episode, uh, his, his little thing. Um, so, yeah, Phil, I can't lie. Phil's situation completely by surprise, like... The whole beef escalating shit blowing up, like, that all made sense to me, although yeah, yeah. it, it, it uh, scared us a bit there. <laughs> it still made sense. Like, we, we kind of seen it coming. You know, mm-hmm. we got Vito got bodied, and we had other boy who, you know, went missing. Obviously, the next move is to continue to start picking at each other until it gets to the point where it's public enough to go to, go to a war. One thing I will say, though, about Phil, and I think this kind of goes with most of the older cats, is I, I do kind of like how they are like strong to the code you know what i'm saying like i, I kind of when chris said that they don't live by the code no more i was kind of like i don't That's, agree yeah, especially with bullshit. the older cats because yep. you feel me like even phil was like i ain't killing no boss like like that's some real ass shit to say even with all the drama even think about all the threats this nigga done made over his um brother dying and he's still sitting there like uh, when 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 everyone else is ready for the action, uh, I can't kill the boss. Like so, I really did like that. Um, but damn, it sucks to see my man on his back. Like, cause he he was such a strong character, and I didn't think this is what was gonna put, lay his ass down. He ain't dead, so I ain't gonna say it like that. He wasn't but. looking strong when he was throwing both the arms up, bro. <laughs> Nigga, <laughs> don't do it. <laughs> He would do it if it was uh, if, it, if we was him, right? He would be frying. If that was Johnny, he would have been frying. Listen, that go. man cried this episode too. Yep. So he owing oh, two. If Johnny <laughs> saw this, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, 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 it's unfortunate what happened to, to Phil, but at the same time, I, I don't know. I don't know. What do you think about the conversation though? Well, it wasn't a conversation because Phil ain't say shit. But what do you think about what Tony kind of laid on him? Like, do you think that is going to have an effect on him? Like, because we've seen him cry, so we can only assume that it, he, you know, he was able to resonate with that shit. I mean, I don't, I don't, like I said, I don't think it's going to be up to Phil what happens. Like I said, I, I think Buddy at the door, the cross eyed mm-hmm. motherfucker, I feel like he's going to do something and that's going to, you know, ramp up this, uh, this, uh, this war, is it, yeah, the war. few, yeah, this few between them. Um, I'm not, uh, yeah, that that's how I see it going down. Do I think Phil yeah. is gonna, um, okay it, green light it? I don't think he's gonna okay it. I, like I said, I think Me it's neither. gonna be completely separate because I, mm-hmm. I think this conversation that Tony had with Phil was uh, ben, beneficial, and mm-hmm. it was it was a positive thing. I think Phil yeah. will see that, and like you said. On top of everything, Phil has a code. You feel me? And he's mm-hmm. willing to, to, to die uh, by it. So, um, yeah, I don't see I don't see Phil going against Tony, but I could definitely see one of his side men definitely doing that. Doing and then on top of that, shit. we got the we got the um, we got the the tip from the FBI dude. Oh yeah. So that's yep. you know Tony's already. On eggshells, so when mm-hmm. when when he was leaving that hospital, he was making some type of faces. So mm. I wonder if Tony's gonna make the first move, if anything. Um, mm. So I, I really don't know how it's gonna play out. Is the side the side men are gonna take the first move? Is Tony gonna take the first move because he already knows somebody's mm. pushing against him? But if that's the case, if he knows someone's pushing on him, then he, like I said, is someone on Phil's side with the FBI? And if that's the case. Will we ever see them? Hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's gonna be wow. tough. One. Yeah, it is gonna be a tough one because I could definitely see some one of them uh, them henchmen just overstepping and doing some dumb shit. Because mm-hmm. because the scene when he went to see Phil was after the feds saw him, right? Yeah. After the Fed scene. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I wonder, I wonder if he went and said that to Phil because of that scene, like, mm. like. Like another, just like one more chance at cleaning this shit up. Yeah. Like, 
Because what Little Carmine did, honestly, was great. Like, he just fucked up at the end there. But they almost had it. Like, so I wonder if Tony was just like, you know what? Uh, another gift to you since you're on your back right now. You know, probably experiencing what I experienced. Let's wash this shit up. But, man, that, that FBI scene was good, though. I really, yo, <clears throat> the show is so dope, bro. Because they, I feel like they just be connecting just the, the most littlest shit. Like, when, um, when June gave, gave, the nurse, the fucking money, talking about one hand washes the other. Mm -hmm. I, like I automatically thought about that when the Fed told Tony about the situation with uh with New York. I was just like, mm, one hand washes the other. Like I wonder what kind of information they gonna try to get back from Tony. Mm -hmm. Like so yeah, yeah it's it. Mm. All right, we gonna have to see. Definitely we gonna we gonna have to see if one of them fools overstep. And if they do overstep, who are they gonna target? Cause we got who we got Carlo, we got Silvio, Chris, yep. Paulie. I feel like he wouldn't care about it. Well, Bobby, yeah. yeah. I feel like those are like the five main people that he would actually care about if they got uh, if they got whacked. Yep. Oh no, man! Next, next, next half gonna be crazy, son. All right, all right. Let's hop into Chris, man. Chris, Chris, Chris. This grace is so fun, <laughs> I'm still on. I'm on the fence. I can't lie, bro. On the fence on what? On Chris, man. How? I feel like this whole because I feel like this whole episode was just a whirlwind of a 360 of a whirlwind of a 360, bro. <laughs> I don't understand like, that. I don't understand what that. <laughs> all right, so we saw he relapsed. Yeah. Right. So we we went into this episode kind of already doubting him, mm -hmm. but in this episode they admitted that he was still he was actually clean so okay cool but then he had his little talk with his fucking dude sponsor yep the sponsor told him you shouldn't mess with this chick because it could go either y'all double down on the the bagootery yep. or y'all double down on the progression and they chose to double down on the bagootery and then at that diner scene it kind of they it, it almost seemed like they were making like the realization like yo we got to stop like we got to get clean we got to do something we got to change it up um and then chris was like i'll take my own car like so it's just like what the f <laughs> like I'm, I'm still on the fence bro because like there's i feel like there's still a, a little sliver of of like light shining through for chris bro like I, i'm holding on to the hope for that man basically is what i'm saying because i do feel like him deciding to take the other car was him choosing not to go to recovery and her choosing that route because they didn't really give us anything else after that. I don't think that's but what... But still, man. I didn't see it that what? way. I think I, I saw it the way, like, he's using separate cars to distance himself from her. You feel me? I don't know. But then they wouldn't... If he distances himself from her, why would he go to recovery then? He wouldn't go. I mean, I, I think they will go there separate instead of going together. You feel me? Why though? <laughs> because <laughs> when they're together, they do the buguderies. Oh, so so you think they so you do think they actually went to recovery? Yeah, I think they went to the meeting, but oh, the reason, that's even better then. Yeah, no, I then think, I'm I'm I, less on the fence then. I'm even happier for Chris. Yeah, then. but that doesn't mean much because we seen him a couple episodes episodes ago actually using like mm -hmm. the other shit. So mm -hmm. it's like, okay, he's been clean, but for how long? Like a month, a couple weeks? It don't matter, bro. Every The first day is the most important day, <laughs> nigga. What the fuck is you talking about? <laughs> I mean, how many first days can he have? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know what I'm saying? So it's just... It's, it's... Until RIP, I guess. <laughs> I, I, listen, I you. This, so this is how I sound when I'm on that path of trying to... Hold on to the hope. Yeah, exactly. So that's how I sound. Okay, it's good to hear because it be like that sometimes. Sometimes you want it. these characters to win, bro. I don't see. I don't see Chris at all. Um, falling off that. He's staying on that wagon. Um, for life. Until uh, death doesn't part. I mean, the last time he had to get an intervention, and in that intervention, he got beat up. So, and forced. <laughs> Forced to be in this in a program, so yeah, I think it's it's gonna be uh, 
extremely difficult. He won't be able to do it alone. And then if he brings anybody mm-hmm. else in, it's a wrap for him. So, um, yeah, I, I I can't really see anything good coming out of this unless he like Nothing cold good. turkey, like drops the chicks, drop the drugs, and just get back to life. That's the only way I can see him coming out of this. Fair. It's fair enough. Well, I definitely loved him, his presence in this episode. Him and uh, what's her damn name? The real estate real lady. Real estate lady. <laughs> yeah, I, I I really did like their their scenes together because it it was a, a roller coaster ride. Like it was literally like clean, dirty, clean, dirty. I was like, what the fuck is happening here? Like, like that's yeah. I like the way they was playing around with that. Um, and then Tony. Just real quick to touch up on Tony and, and how he felt about the situation. You feel me? Exactly. Just go ahead and shake your head now, man, because it's never good, bro. That man be ego tripping like crazy. Man said, this is what I get. You feel me? That nigga said that shit like, like if he deserved that bitch. Like, this is my like, reward. You f- <laughs> <laughs> this is my reward. This is what I'm rewarded with for not cheating. Yo. I'm glad you said that shit, bro. That's really what he said. Yeah. This is my reward for not cheating. I ain't stick my dick in his, so my fucking nephew sticks his dick. In. I should have stuck. I should have stuck it in first. That way he couldn't. That's the logic that Tony lives by, and it just goes to show you that therapy does not work for this man at all. <laughs> <laughs> no matter how many sessions Buffy gets in there with him, that shit is not helping him. That shit helps, bro. No, what helped was the gunshot to the to the stomach. That's what helped. <laughs> him having a freaking his life flash before his death. eyes. Yeah, that near death experience is what what got Dude. him back. That it wasn't the therapy. Mm. That's how I see it, at least. Bro, you gotta go back and watch season one all the way, bro. You can't tell me he hasn't gotten slightly no, better. No, he hasn't yeah. because he left. Then he came back. And then he left, and then he tried to bring gifts back, and then try to persuade her to fuck, and then, like, come on, you really think therapy's helping? You really want to go back to season one? You want to bring up the receipts? It helps while he's in therapy. Yes, <laughs> while he's you in therapy, it don't count when he come and try to get back in. He do all that weird shit. He got to get back in line. Like that shit knocks him off track. <laughs> like. <laughs> But yeah, that shit was crazy. That was just one of the small things I wanted to mention. Another small thing that I wanted to mention was definitely um, that junior scene. Yes. Do you it do was... you think what's up? Do we, are we getting a, a junior presence next season half, next six half? Six I B? don't know, but I I just love when they do bring them in. Um, it's always nice to see junior, and yeah, like you said, whenever we see him, it's like whether he is he there, is he not? We had him for a second, and then we lost him. So it was mm-hmm. just nice having him for that split second. But that envelope pass off, I can't what, help what, but to think like but I what, can't help but to what like what do you what, what, where is your mind going after that? For me, it's just a, you know it's me, just a nigga, Christmas be, gift. <laughs> <laughs> you know me, I'd be fantastical with That's it, but facts. I'm thinking like, does this nigga, you know, maybe ask him not to slip him his nighttime pills one of these days mm. or help him break out type shit like mm. you know not necessarily walk him out the door but you know just just forget to do this today or or mm. drop this out the window or meet this guy here on the outside and give him this type shit you know okay. like one hand washes the other you know favor for a favor um so yeah i was just like you yeah. know just just one of them small things because yeah. you, you you give us something like that on i right, you say that's fantastical <laughs> but you don't just give us shit like that on a season finale my nigga you're right and, and, one and, thing i shouldn't do is bet against formal <laughs> but you know me i stay betting against this man and losing all my money so <laughs> i'm gonna I was say just fantastical. Saying, that's it i can't help but to like that shit you know light bulb moment when i see shit like that mm-hmm. um what else we got here i I felt like I had something else, but I'm having too much fun, so I think I'm good. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty much, pretty much good with this episode. Um, like I said, I wanted a little bit more, but uh, what they set up for this the second half of the season is gonna be, it's gonna be good. Yeah, definitely. Gonna I be agree. Good. I would have definitely liked at least you know an action scene. I know we got an explosion, but that wasn't that wasn't nothing. And maybe if AJ would have fought them three guys, that might have that might have helped out. <laughs> like that might have been more than enough. Like, 
Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? You've been working construction. It ain't, ain't no telling, man. Man, he might got a, a stone fist these days. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, any final thoughts or you want to drop that score? Uh, I'm going a, I'm to a score it. I'm going to get this one an A5. I think it was a, a great episode. Definitely um, setting up some stuff. All I'm going to say is my prayers is it's out there for, for Chrissy Boy. Hopefully he does the right thing and uh, gets on uh, gets back on track with the AANA and really focus on, um, you know, what he has coming up. The kid, you know, the house and all that. So that's what I'm praying for, man. I do remember my final, my my last final, my okay. final, final, final. Let's hear it. it was it was a uh, Tony uh, moving forward with the spec house thing because uh, Carmella oh, that, kept asking that, too much about Adriana. Yes, that when you, yeah when you when you started going off about how therapy ain't help, I was like, oh, delete this memory <laughs> like, because he's right, nigga. If I if I throw this in there, he definitely go for like therapy ain't helping this nigga. Yeah. So uh, that you. that was a very shady move, very um, shady. but we we see why he did it, uh, and yeah. So because of that, I'm actually gonna get this a little bit closer to a nine. I'm gonna give it like an eight seven. Um, okay. There was just some really small details that they were just kind of throwing out there that I was just like, oh man, solid, solid, solid. And I overall just really just ending six a six a was it was some crack here, mm-hmm. some crack. Maybe we'll do how we felt about each each uh 6a and 6b at the end oh yeah no <laughs> but, we're gonna have a long discussion about this because yeah uh sopranos definitely uh brings a lot to the table when it comes to Facts. discussions like all types of discussions so i'm definitely excited for that yeah agreed so i'm gonna give it like an eight seven around there uh for me so really good scores eight fives and above from your two hosts yeah i already know what it is man if y'all still here rocking with us we appreciate y'all so much y'all keep us moving and grooving y'all know what to do with the videos go ahead drop your likes make sure you comment down below let us know how you felt about this episode most importantly if you enjoyed content like this consider subscribing to the channel we also have full link watch longs but you have to bring your own copy of course patreon link in the description down below Fuck the blower out. Peace.